Yeah, I'm not nervous, nor am I scared. In the name of Jesus, you must love the love of God. And that's what I'm talking about because it's not a matter of the enemy picks sides. You know, that's why I'm trying to close, but you must understand because closing tonight means that we're going to be praying for one another. Yeah. We're going to continue to do that because there's about to be a breakthrough coming through. Somebody is in need of a healing on this side. Somebody is in need of breakthrough on this side. In the name of Jesus. That's just the name of few. But the Lord God says, when we come to pray in one accord, the Lord God says, I'm going to be hearing one sound to one sound tonight, and the one sound is going to release the blessings to start flowing. I don't know about you, but I'm making a demand on the anointing. Come on, Holy Ghost. I'm making a demand on the anointing because I know when the anointing is flowing, and I can understand when God says, when I'm in the room, when I see them operating in one accord, in one part, there's a mighty rushing wind. There's a freedom in the spirit that no man can stop. There's nothing that can stop me from blessing or doing Yeah. 
Yeah, that's a, that's a message right there. That's a message within a message. You want to move, you want to do things, but God said, don't go until you get the Holy Ghost. That means don't go until you have him with you on the inside everywhere that you, when you get confirmation, information, and direction in the name of Jesus. Yeah, you just in your own flesh, like, oh, just go ahead and go. It's time to go, go. <laughs> Well, whose time clock are you up <laughs> Because as far as I know, you got to listen to the voice of the Holy Ghost. Uh, you know, I, that, that, that's the one you got to listen to. Uh, I'm saying that because he said, the scripture said, I'm causing, help me, Lord. It says that the, the tongues of fire sat upon each one of them. That means as you're praying for everyone else, come on and get that. You're going to get something directly for you. It says tongues of fire. And you're saying that maybe you're in the house tonight. I'm closing. Maybe you're in the house. You're like, well, I don't need a healing in my body. But somebody else does yeah, need a healing yeah. in my body. And you're, you're praying for them even though, why am I praying so hard for healing and I don't need a healing? Because there's somebody in here that needs to heal. Yeah. But maybe you, they, you need a breakthrough and they need healing. Yeah. While you're praying hard for their healing, they're praying hard for your breakthrough. Yeah. And when the Holy Spirit's going to move in one accord, everybody, you, you're going to get what you, been, what you really need even though you didn't open up your mouth to pray for yeah. Well, wait a minute, God. You mean to tell me I need this, that, this, that, this. But I don't need to pray that because when I'm lifting up whatever the sister so-and-so right here need, that you're about to, that it's going to fall off. Whenever I'm praying for her need and lifting up her family and praying for the Lord, I said, while you're doing that, then all of a sudden, things start operating. All of a sudden, things start operating positively on your job. Or things are favorable for you. And things that you ask questions. About the answers that you were wanting to get that you've been waiting for years, and all of a sudden, it is. Yes. You're like, My God, I've been praying for so long, and that's all it took for me to operate in one accord. For me to just begin to pray earnestly and get it at one place in God, and then all of a sudden, each one of them, the disciples received whatever the tongues of fire came upon each one of them. People of God, the Lord God is telling us to pray in one accord. He's calling for us to be in one accord. Yes. If you're going to get anything done, you must understand you can do things done in the power of unity. Amen. Amen. Operating in oneness. Don't let cancel. I, I come to pray that we would decrease our agenda and take on his agenda. Yes. Yes. His agenda is about kingdom. Yes. His agenda is about souls. His agenda is about, you know, getting the people delivered and healed and set free. You're like, well, how will that bless me? Do you realize if you're praying for salvation, do you realize God's going to make sure you have food on your table? Come on now. And, and, and let the main thing be the main thing. Come on now. You know, if you're believing God for a soul, for somebody else to get delivered or set free, do you realize that car, you're going to get that vehicle? You're like, you're like, wait a minute. How, how does that work? Because those are things that you've been asking God for. But he said, if you can just put all that aside. Come on, I'm trying to. It don't seem like y'all are catching the fire. But I believe, said, if I can just get one person tonight to get it, to understand. You're praying in one accord. Everything that you've been asking God for. As you pray in unity and one accord in one place. What you've been asking for. And as you pray, it's about to be given unto you as you pray for someone. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. God said, you know that my family needs to come together. You know what? We were they're, they're all over the place, and they're not. You know, they may be living in the same in the same city, but they don't make it. You know, they're just separated. I'm not asking you to raise your hand. Just stay looking forward. Now, some of you ain't talked to family in months, if not years. And the Lord God is telling you, said, you know what? It's time for prayer. It's time for one accord. You're like, well, I really want things to get back together. Well, why don't you pray for the person that's sitting next to you, no matter what that situation is. And God's reading your heart. Do you realize all of a sudden some phone calls are going to be made? Do you realize that some, all that bitterness and jealousy is about to fall off? Woo! 
envy and strife about to fall off. Come on, come on, come on, people of God. You see, we don't want the raw talk tonight, but the Lord God is telling us we want a court. I'm about to, I'm closing right now, and I'm going to open up the altar, but I'm here to tell you that tonight I'm going to be completely obedient, as the Lord God is saying. We're going to be touching an agreement. We're going two by two tonight, in the name of Jesus. We're going two by two. And you're like, we've been doing it for a while until he releases me. We're coming to the altar two by two. That means when you stand, you're standing two by two. And when the Lord God has allowed me to pray, I'm praying that you are praying for the person that's standing next to you. Amen. And if you're like, well, I didn't come with anybody. Well, then the Holy Ghost goes, we're going to have somebody stand proxy right along with you because I need you two by two tonight in the name of Jesus. Come on, as we're about to open up the altar, I just need for you to bow your head. Let me seal this word. Father God, as I come right now in the name of Jesus, I thank you for this word. In the wonderful name of Jesus. Lord God, I'm praying that we would operate in one accord. And Father God, we cancel our agenda and pick up your plans. In the name of Jesus. And Lord God, we thank you in advance. And we're believing you for some suddenlies tonight. In the name of Jesus. And we said amen. 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 Come on.